love. Boop boop. Hello. Rami, near your face. Tiny little baby zip. Ooh. Ah, it's on my shoe. I like it. I love drinking. This week on My Drunk Kitchen, we are in Colorado at a company called Spark Fun. Sharing ingenuity, I think is their slogan. We're in Colorado, don't mind if I do. Since we're drinking in a corporate office environment, I have kept most of my liquor in this tiny container. That way I can drink it under my desk or in the bathroom between jobs. Every time you push a food, you're gonna get a sound clip related to that food. Better with bacon. Deliver tacos. Because we're in the great American Midwestish West West, we're going to be making something called a bison burger. Because we wanna buy some time. Burger, ding! Now many of you know that I don't eat beef or pork, but I make exceptions for interesting or rare animal meats. For instance, I've also eaten on this trip, alligator, balls of the sheep. I ate snakes! The first step in making an excellent burger is to make an excellent patty. So take your meats and put it in this bowl. Woo! Mmm. Wash your hands because you're not super gross. Meat product! I was once alive! You know what I like about this bison meat? It always gives really level-headed advice. Maybe it's because it's so grounded. Dinner! So take your bison and put it in a bowl. Yay! So tell me about Spark Fun. Uh, we manufacture and sell and resell hobby electronics components. So if you make robots or want to learn how to solder, you would buy stuff from us to do that. I think hobby science is the best form of science. I mean, what good inventions didn't come from tinkering, you know? Mm -hmm. In fact, you might be able to say, I tink, therefore I am. You could say that. <laughs> it's the time of the season. Season your meat. Ooh, tequila. Tequila isn't something local to Colorado, but it is something local to my body's ability to get drunk faster. I like to put red onions in everything, because one time the internet told me that red onions uh, help, raw onions helped with you if you drink a lot, so that's something that I took from Yahoo Answers and just never forgot. Red onions, yay! We're going to be adding corn, black beans, and uh, red bell peppers, because when you add those three things, suddenly you have a slightly ethnic American dish. I don't really know. Whee! Ah! Ooh, should I have drained this? Whatever. Make the west of it. We're also going to be adding green chili peppers. Ugh. You basically have one third of each ingredient. So take that fact and disregard it completely. Peppers! I don't know. Add a little tequila. surgeon going in and really messing around with your gooey meat parts, I've washed all the way up to my melbow. My melbow? I don't know what that is. Boop. Now take your precious hands and put them in your disgusting meat bowl and just try not to think about it. Uh oh. Mm. Ding! No! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I wish I didn't have to do this near either of our faces. How many times have you been told that? Uh. Black, 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 vomit all over everything. Okay, wash your hands and try to forget. Nailed it! So we're gonna use the George Foreman grill. Looks like this. And slap some meat on there and pray to God it cooks all the way through. Because, I mean, I really don't wanna die from doing this show. I'm going to repurpose this onion container, scoop out the patty, put it on the grill, shut it immediately, and then walk away. This apron spontaneously talks to me, and I don't really... I made you an apron. Take your onion container, fill it with your meat thing, scoop! Ugh. Make a patty! Ugh. Ah! Now you put your patty on the grill. While it grills and cooks all the way through, go ahead and contemplate the decisions you've made in your life up to this point. Mmm. Ah! Are you cooked? There's no way to know. Open up your George Foreman grill. Ah! Now, go ahead and put cheese on it to mount cheese onto it. Because either way, even if it tastes like shit, there'll be cheese on top 
and you could be like, nah, it's pretty good. I like a cheese like I like my women. Holy, ew. Cheese, wee! Now it's grilled cheese. Fulfill me! <laughs> Don't gargle with beer, that's weird. And look at this, take your patty out and put it on your burger. Ooh, yum, yum. Add more cheese. Bloop, bloop, bloop. So what you've created here is an open-faced bison burger. So, what rhymes with bison? Try some bison burger. Make sure it's fully cooked with your eyes. Ah, uh, uh-huh, mmm. That's delicious. Oh, whoa, are you a carnivorous dinosaur? Oh, oh yeah, babe. Um, 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 um. What do you think, Dia? No? No! It's good! She's just making a series of grunts and moans. It doesn't really communicate anything. Just remember, no matter how long you've been at your corporate desk job, there's always room to change. All you're doing is taking a risk. And sometimes risks pay off, and sometimes they don't. Life is about the journey, not the destination. For instance, cooking this beef patty was a lot more fun than eating it. That's how it's relevant to cooking. Yay! Crust, this is your this is your cheesecake. It's not actually cheesecake, it's all a big lie.